Hi everyone and welcome back to another workout. Due to the request of some people who have been following the workouts, I'm going to keep today focused on the lower body and the abs. People said they really enjoyed that over the last couple of weeks, so that's what we'll keep doing. And so we'll start with our lunges. I'll just stand sideways to make sure that you can see. Just make sure that your knee isn't traveling beyond your toes when you're doing it, okay? So we'll go about 10 on each side. So it's straight up and down, not forward. Again, if you want to make this more challenging, get a hold of your little water bottle to add a bit of weight. You want to use your core more, hold down in front of you. And then we're doing the same, keeping about a 20 degree bend in the knee, jump in with three small steps and jump back out. Well done, shake that leg out, and we'll go on the other, other side. Same thing, make sure you're going straight down and not traveling forward. And then that 20 degree bend in the knee. Shake that leg off. Well done. And then we'll go for our squats. Again, if you want to make this more challenging, then you can hold your water bottle out in front of you to activate your core, hold it slightly closer to your body uh, for less of a challenge, and get rid of it if uh, your legs are already too pre -fisied. Okay, let's hold that squat. Let's go sideways, back the other way, and again. And then back to it. Let's hold that squat, go sideways, and again, and then we're back to it. Now let's hold that squat, go sideways, and one more time. Well done everybody, nice work. Okay, for our abs then. Go to be lying on the floor, feet are going to be slightly further away. Then you're going to reach left and right, try and touch your heels. This is going to use top of the abs. So then we move down and use the middle, 
and then we'll use uh, the lower part of the abdominal muscle. So, we'll do this one first. Well done. Now we're going to take our legs off the floor and hold them out. And we're going to bring one leg in as we sit up. So we're here and then back. The other one and then back. Keep your tense, your core tense the whole time. Excellent, everybody. And then for the lower part of the abs, we're going to be in the same position, but we're going to keep our upper body fully flat on the floor. If you want to make this easier, you can brace your bum uh, in the cradle of your arms like this, okay? Which is just gonna put like a backstop here, like a wedge, um, so it's easier for you to lift your legs. Or if you wanna make it more challenging, you can just put your hands out to the side. Now, the thing with this is, you've gotta try and uh, like turn your pelvis like this, so that the lower part of your back doesn't arch and lift off the floor, okay? And you wanna keep your back as straight as possible. So, let's go. Well done. Okay, we're just going to do one more now to finish off, um, which is really going to make your abs burn. So just like when we're holding the squat position for the lower body, uh, we're going to kind of hold the press up position. Uh, sorry, the sit up position. So we're going to make like a V like this, and then a rock. So. Awesome work everybody, see you again next week.